Hey guys, welcome to DIY My Biz. In this video, I'm going to talk about five issues that most people have while considering starting an online coffee mug business. But before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Lala, and Derek and I created this channel, DIY Mug Biz, to help others build their own highly profitable online coffee mug businesses from scratch. If you're thinking about starting your own online coffee mug business, consider subscribing to our channel because mugs are all that we do. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'll show you how you can get the solution to these five problems. Okay, now let's get started on the video. So the first most issue that a lot of people are having is the equipment and inventory. What equipment and what inventory to buy? I know there's a lot of inventory and equipment that revolves around starting a coffee mug business, especially because you're doing it yourself. You're gonna need a printer, a heat press, along with your mugs. A lot of people don't know where to go and buy their um, inventory and equipment. There's brands that are better than others, right? And so you don't wanna invest in equipment that's not gonna work and that's not gonna last you. And there is a lot of equipment out there that are cheaper. Like, should I buy a cheaper heat press than the expensive one? Especially when starting your own online coffee mug business, you have to invest the money up front. When investing, you're on a budget, and so some of these equipment can be pricey. Finding the right equipment to purchase can be difficult. The second issue is designs. What design should I create? How do I create a design? Like, how do I know that design's gonna sell? Like, is it gonna be a good design? Where do I go? What software do I, do I use? There's a lot of questions when it comes to design. And of course, there's a lot of design that you can create, but how do you go about creating these designs? So that is an issue. So moving along to number three of our issue is production. How do I put the image on my mug? How do I burn my mug so that it comes out looking flawless? I want my image to look great on my mug. I don't want any blurriness, lint, or the mug not looking great. Because when you're trying to sell your mug and it comes out and it's blurry or it doesn't look like how it's supposed to look in the image that you provide it on your listing, well, of course your customer is gonna complain. So a lot of it has to do with adjusting your heat press or the way you burn it. That's a problem in itself. It can be very, very difficult and overwhelming as a shop owner, especially when you're trying to make your mug and it just isn't turning out right. And I, as a shop owner, have struggled with that. And it took me a very long time to figure out how I can, you know, how to adjust to the right temperature or, you know, how to place my mug in so that it burns correctly. So I get it. I've been in your shoes and it was very frustrating. I mean, I was at a point where I almost gave up and I didn't want to do it. Let's move on to number four of our problems and issues. Okay, so number four, how do I pack my mug so that it doesn't break while it's in shipping? So number four is packaging and shipping because you have to make sure that you're packing your mug correctly and that it's safe so that when you ship it, if it does get mishandled by the shipping carrier, it doesn't break because a lot of times it does break. So how do I prevent my mug from breaking? And I, as a shop owner, have struggled with that. I've gotten many complaints from my customer or, or should I say I've gotten many messages from my customers when I first started my mug business saying that the mug arrived broken and I know for a fact that I packed it very well, but it still came to them broken. How do I resolve this issue? Because now you have to make a replacement and now you gotta pay for um, shipping. And so that's just extra expense that you weren't counting for. And so at the end of the day, on this particular order, you made no money. It can be very overwhelming. And I'm gonna keep saying that because for me, it was. And very stressful starting off and going through all these learning curves. So let's move along to number five of our problems. Sales. 
I know a lot of people want to make a mug that has an awesome design that sells, right? So sell, sell, sell is very important in an online coffee mug business. How do I go about selling my product? How do I go about making sure that people see my product and that they actually like the image that's on my mug so that they will buy? Like sell is very important because if you're not selling, then you're not making money and none of this even matters. So I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna tell you I have solutions for all of this. All five of the issues that I just told you about, I had them. When I first started my online coffee mug business, I had all these problems and it was very difficult for me because like I said before, I almost gave up. Why am I even doing this if I'm not making money? This is not a hobby. I'm trying to do this so that I can make some money. I mean, that's the end goal here. Even if it's just a side business or you know something that you're starting off as a side business, eventually you want it to become your, your full-time business. I have solutions for all five issues. These problems that you're dealing with, I went through and I've actually created a course and I'm gonna teach you and show you how you can overcome these five issues. Instead of you going through the learning curve like I did for many years, I've actually combined all of these solutions and I put it into this program. It's called the Ultimate DIY Mug Biz Program and it's for beginners so that you don't have to go through the learning curve like I did. The overwhelming, the stressful nights, the thinking about hey, let me just get out of this game because I can't do it. My margins aren't there. I'm not making any money. I'm just wasting my time. Well, you're not because I have solutions and I can help you. So number one of our problems was equipment and inventory. Where do I go to get my equipment inventory? Well, in this program, I'm gonna show you exactly where you need to go to get your equipment and your inventory your heat press, your sublimation printer, along with your sublimation paper and your ink, okay? Down to your mugs, who to buy it from. So I'm gonna share all that with you in this program. So issue number two, okay? That's design. So in this program, I'm going to share with you the software that I use to create all my designs, along with how to make a good design. So how do you make a good design? What software do I use? Along with how to um, export and put it into um, Microsoft Word so that you can print this design. I'm gonna actually show you step-by-step step how to do all this, okay? So that you're not on your own. Moving along to number three, production, right? So that's an issue. How do I put my design on my mug? Well, in this program, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that how to adjust your mug press and how to adjust the temperature and make sure that you're, you're burning your mug correctly so that it comes out looking flawless. In this program, I'm gonna show you exactly how step-by-step step, all the learning curve that I've been through, I'm putting it into this program just for you. Number four, packaging and shipping. And this is the best one because I'm able to show you in this program how to pack your mug. I'm gonna show you how to gift wrap your mug so that you can maximize the price of your mug listing. You know, because people pay more for a gift. And I always say it, that we are not in a mug giving business, we are in a gift giving business. People are always looking for a good gift to give to their loved ones, family, friends, and that's what we are in. We are in a gift giving business. So, because it's a gift, you can maximize the price so I'm gonna teach you how to gift wrap your mug in my program. Not only that, I'm gonna show you how to package your mug so that it does not break while in shipping. I'm gonna tell you right now, since I've been using this method, I have had no complaints of any mug that has a rye broken. I'm gonna show you how to use my no breaking shipping method on how to package your mug. We all know that if we can't sell our product, well, we're not gonna make any money. What's the point of even opening a coffee mug business, right? If you're not selling, you're not making money. In this program, I'm going to talk to you about the reason why people buy. And that takes me back to our gift giving. We are not in a mug business, we are in a gift giving business. I'm gonna talk to you about like what you need to sell you gotta stay on top of the trend. Along with listing real estate. I know, what's listing real estate, right? Well, in this program, I'll be able to talk to you about that. 
along with pricing and profit because pricing is very important but when you are in a gift giving business well you can maximize the price that you're listing your product for and lastly customer reviews how do i get my customer to leave a review for me so these are the solutions that i will go into depth and i will walk with you step by step and show you how to start your own online coffee mug business the right way so that you are not going through what i went through that took me many years to learn i hope that i can shine a light to you so that you are not stressed and overwhelmed i know when starting off there's a million questions on you know what to do and how to go about it the right way if you want to go ahead and hit the ground running and enroll in the program i will have the link in the description below also i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the comments and um i hope i can be your coach to help and guide you on this journey that you are starting because i know it is a very exciting one and i will see you in the program